They were troubleshooting boiler control valves. I've got one zone that was sticking, it was staying on all the time. So uh, I'll talk you through what I did here and uh, show you how it gets, how to fix it. Start off, turn off the power switch to the boiler. I also turn off the power switch to the transformer that controls the thermostat power. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take a picture of the wiring. Make sure you understand how the wiring is coming off so you know how to put it back on. And then on the controller, there's one screw. You loosen that screw, you don't have to take it out, and you can slide the cover off. To remove the controller, there are two screws. One right there, and one right there. Take out those two screws, and then you can move the actuator slowly toward the open position to relieve the pressure off of it. And as you release it, you should be able to lift the controller off. Okay, so I've got the screws loose. The screws don't actually come out. They're made so that they, uh, or they're retained by the housing so you don't drop them and lose them, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna gently push the actuator toward the open position. And then I can wiggle this. I might have to try again. And it comes off. So that's how you remove the controller. And then we'll talk you through my old one and the new one. So on my old controller, it was sticking in the open position. Push it to the open position. And it wasn't coming back the whole way. So right now it is, but not consistently. If you try it a bunch of times, it eventually sticks. And I tore it all apart, cleaned everything, put some grease on the gears, and tried to make it work. But still, it wasn't consistent. And in the end, what I saw was this white bushing, or this white shit pin, is what the lever and the controlling arm pivot on, and it's wore out. If you watch the gap between this brass plate and the housing while I function this, you can see that gap widens considerably, and then it goes back and it actually rubs on the return. And it was just causing too much friction, things are misaligned. Sometimes when you function this, you can feel the gears slip, and it's all because that shaft is wore out and things aren't staying aligned. If you compare that to the new one, when I function the new one, the gap between that brass plate and the top never closes completely, stays consistent, has a little bit of a rock to it at the end, but it functions a lot more smoothly. So I don't see any way to keep the old one working consistently. I mean, like I said, I tore it all apart, greased everything, cleaned everything. I just can't get it to consistently work. So we're gonna put the new one on and uh, we should be good to go. So to install this, again, we have to function the valve by hand because you can see that slot for the valve control is at an angle the valve face itself is about 90 degrees to the piping. So we're going to get this in the right position. I'm going to function this to the open position by hand. Set it down on here. Wiggle it a little bit. And you can feel it slide into place. So now I just need to tighten those two screws reconnect the wires, put the cap on, and I'm done. Hope this helps. If you like our video, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks.